Hi, this is Christina. Welcome to Red Hat JBoss Fuse Home Loan Quick Start Demo Part 2. In this series of Home Loan Demo, we are trying to show you how to create a JBoss Fuse uh, Camel applications from scratch. And um, this demo, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a um, home loan housing appraisal application. And um, uh, this integration solution is trying to read in um, a series of uh, XML file from a vendor and based on the data from the vendor we are going to interact it with other system and store information in our database and uh, in the part two of this demo we are going to um, make sure we're going to take care of the customer part so in part one we have already written the information and sent every uh, and separate um, the housing and the customer information into separate queue. So now we have the separate queue. What we're going to do is we're going to read the information from the customer queue and then process the information and then store the information into our uh, into our databases. And I will be creating um, each one each one of these applications into separate profiles so they can they can deploy it uh, into separate running instance. So that fits, uh, so every single one of the location does only one thing and that is our how, how, how to implement microservices with um, uh, the Fuse application. So here is how it's done. Now we are going to start by creating a JBoss Fuse project in JBoss Developer Studio and I'm going to give it um, um, a customer evaluation name for this project and um, so choose the right archetype it is a blueprint archetype and it's going to generate all the different uh, data structure uh, folder structures and and make it easier to for you to deploy and run everything like that uh, so now we have our project ready um, let's take a look at the data that we want to come for uh, that we want to uh, that we will receive uh, from the vendor. This is the customer data. It is the XML file and what we will do is we're going to insert this XML. Uh, we're going to take the data from this XML file and insert it into the uh, into the database and within the database you would have a customer info table and we're going to insert everything inside that table. Okay, so let's go back to our project. Um, so click on the, uh, click on the uh, camera, camera routes and um, the first thing what we want to do here is we want to clean up all the different uh, example co example code here, example routes, and then we're going we want to configure our uh, ActiveMQ endpoint. Just want to tell it where our uh, message broker is and what sort of uh, uh, ID and password it's going to have. So now I have a blank canvas. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, delete the uh, the old Java bin that is uh, generated by the Maven archetype. So we have a blank uh, project, and here I'm going to create the POJO that we want to work with. So uh, we're going to create a cust, cust info uh, which contains all the different uh, variables that we need uh, for uh, for this uh, <coughs> project. Okay, so now we have the uh, POJO ready. So what uh, what we're trying to do is we're going to in, uh, copy and paste our uh, data folder into this project from previous project. So it has all the XML file and schemas inside. Now I uh, I'm going to add a active MQ endpoint. So I'm going to tell it to reach uh, using the the configurations that I have and uh, collect information from customer queue. And then I'm going to collect data and I want to convert it into um, a Java POJO that I have just created. So here I'm choosing the uh, new uh, new capabilities of uh, our JBoss toolings. Now I can easily drag and drop and um, map the toolings, you know, using the toolings to map between two, two sources. So here I'm going to choose the uh, XML, uh, the schema, so it knows how to <coughs> access, you know, uh, read the information, uh, read the schema so it knows how to map your information. So here now I have a, uh, a, a GUI view and this view is going to allow you to drag and drop every single field inside your documents and map them together so you could actually, so my, my age in XML file is going to be inside my uh, 
age in my Pojo. So that so it go it goes on like this. So once I've done the mapping, I'm going to um, set everything to uh, map connect everything together so it becomes um, a routing access. So um, now I'm going to add the log. So make sure that I've got everything right. So here I'm going to add. Uh, so I'm going to print out the first name um, inside my body object, inside my object. So the object will be um, in the body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a data source because we want to insert data uh, into the data into the data database. And here um, it's going to tell now where what kind of drivers I need to use, what where can I find my uh, my H2 file and then I'm going to register my data source into the SQL components that I'm going to use later. So now once I, I got everything um, set, uh, what I'm I need to um, pay, what I'm doing here is I'm going to paste a property file. The reason why I'm putting this um, property file is that I don't want to I don't want to have um, my SQL uh, in in my camera route that looks messy. And uh, here you're looking at a new features in uh, in JavaScript six point two. We're now able to access the body and the header value uh, inside the property, so there, there's you do, there's no longer a need uh, for putting your attributes in the header anymore. Much cleaner. And then here I'm going to register the property file in the camel context, so it's, it will be able to find the property file inside this cam this camel. <coughs> so. Once I got everything set up, I can start uh, drag my SQL uh, endpoints in. And with this SQL endpoint, what what it does is going to execute uh, the query that you uh, that is given, and the query is uh, where I where I place in the property file. So here I'm going to uh, let it call the property file. The first thing is I'm going to delete everything that's previously be uh, previously uh, stored in the database. And then insert it back in with the new information I've got. So um, the second one is, will be the uh, the insert part of the SQL. So here I'm gonna insert um, my customer info in. So now I have uh, my camel routes done. So that's all you have to do for you to uh, actually convert your information into a database and um, into a POJO that insert it into a database. And lastly, I want to add the J JDBC driver dependencies. In this versions of uh, JBoss Fuse, it automatically creates all the dependencies for you, but uh, not the drivers. You have to add it inside, inside yourself. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to take you through uh, the housing part of the, of the demo.